recording. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining. I uh, can't believe this is the last of our series. Um, so today's sequence is really going to sum up our total energy centers. And I'm going to focus on um, a few uh, poses that mitigate stress, fatigue, improve mood. So all the things that we are, um, a lot of us are feeling right now. Um, the aim of yoga is to help us to connect with the feeling of stillness when we are so busy or um, kind of like in our uh, in activity. So it's the essence of finding stillness through activity and also to be feel vibrantly alive when we're in repose. So it's kind of like being able to connect to the opposite of the circumstance or the situation in which we find ourselves. And so the yoga perspective on health and well being, you know, helps us achieve balance and harmony when we live life um, in accordance with the natural laws. Um, and that looks at things like our body clock the day and the night cycle, our wake and sleep patterns, and the way that we um, uh, include our diet and activity in accordance to the seasons. So the more mindful we are, or the more awareness we bring to these small aspects of our lifestyle, the greater our connection with nature around us, and the energy within us. So it's go, we're going to do some, it's gonna be a mixture, mixture of chair work, floor work. Um, so we will be on our knees only for a short space of time. Uh, so you may want to use a double up a mat or um, find yourself a towel uh, just to protect your knees if they're sore. Um, I might be able to give some modifications and uh, we shall end with yoga nidra today. Um, so let's get started. Let's start with finding our seat. I always focus when, when it comes to alignment, I generally focus a lot on the on our feet because most of the day we spend living in our head. So get comfortable on your seat. Just stretch your legs out and place your heels on the mat, legs extended and straight. What we're gonna do is just do some warm up um, twists and how we're gonna do that is opposite arm. So our left arm connecting to the opposite leg. Use the right hand either to hold the chair as you forward forward and sink into a lovely stretch. Remember to breathe in your own rhythm, sitting up and let's do the other side. So what I'm gonna do is place my hand at the back of the seat, wherever it's comfortable for you, Extend the right arm to grab the soles of the feet of the left foot. And instead of collapsing forward, remember we're just hinging forward. So 
Take a few breaths there. Really feel the extension in the leg as you come up. Let's just repeat that on the other side. So this time we're going to really lengthen the left arm out as we hinge from the hips, navel sinks in towards the back of the spine, hips are free, so there's space between the hips, as we come down to touch the soles of the feet, the heels are sinking into the mat. Inhale to rise, exhale, just repeat that on the other side. So use your opposite hand, the left hand to hold the chair wherever it's comfortable for you, allowing you to really sink into that cross core extension. The slower the movement, the greater the effect. Brilliant. And just place your feet onto the mat. Separate the toes. Press down into the big toe, the little toe, and into the heels. Separate those toes. Place both hands. So hold the back of the chair. What we're going to do is fold our shoulders back and just lean forward. So long arms as we hinge forwards. Lovely long spine, feet grounded. Legs should be active. There should be no pain anywhere. Almost as though you're floating. The joints feel as though they're floating. Inhale, exhale, and rise up. Wonderful. Now what we're going to do is just sink back. So bring your buttocks to the edge of the seat. And what we're going to do is try and place your elbows on the seat as you allow the neck to rest on the back of the chair. And all we're doing is relaxing or slouching to give the spine a little bit of a extension and flexion. Stay there as long as is comfortable. Take a couple of breaths before we come up to seated position again. I'm going to invite you to bring the left leg, bend it, bend the knee, place the back, the top of the foot underneath the chair. So it's almost as though you're getting ready to kneel. Really extend your feet and place, push down on the big toe and the little toe. For some of you, this may be painful. If you find that you end up getting a cramp, please just bring your foot back up and give it a little bit of a shake. So we're going to just really sink into that. Again, placing our elbows onto the seat as we allow gravity again to extend the hip, open the psoas. It's a really delicious uh, muscle release. Just bringing that up. And now let's repeat that on the other side. So bending the right leg so that 
the top of the foot is pressing down onto the mat underneath the chair. Just sinking back, leaning onto your elbows, placing your neck to rest on the back of the chair and allowing gravity to open up the right hip. Inhale, allow the navel to come away from the spine. Exhale, come up to seating. It's quite an intense um, stretch, actually. And one more time, let's just do that on the left side again. Sinking back, let's see if we can go a little bit deeper. So inhale, sinking back, exhale, using the ocean breath to really allow a deeper extension and um, release of the muscles. Draw your shoulder blades backwards. So you're really feeling a squeeze between the midline of the spine. Are you ready? Bring that back up to resting. From here, we're just going to come into an easy camel by dragging both of the feet. So let's hold the back of the chair or wherever it's comfortable for you. And then we're going to bend and place the right knee underneath the chair. So we're just bending both feet or knees underneath the chair and just reclining back. Easy camel. You can let go of holding the uh, legs of the chair and allow your arms to rest on either side. Or if you feel more comfortable holding the legs of the, of, of the chair, you can do that too. Remember to really shrug the shoulders backwards so you're getting this long extension of the body. Hug your elbows into your, into your ribs and rest them on the seat of the chair. Use your hands to grab the seat. Now what we're gonna do is just gently slide down the chair until your knees are on the mat and your elbows are still rested on the chair, the seat of the chair. Extend your, your hands out so that they're active. Fingers straight, shoulder blades kissing one another and just allow the head to rest fall back, try not to hyper extend, or if you feel more comfortable looking forward, do whatever feels comfortable for you. Really feel that length and extension from your knees, riding through the body, all the way up to your shoulders, relax the shoulders, open the uh, clavicle, so it really expands the chest. So take a deep breath in, into the belly. So separate the navel from the spine, deep belly breath. And exhale, emptying the stomach. When you're ready, just come to an easy kneeling position. Just 
place your hands on the seat behind you. So fingertips are facing forwards towards your buttocks, almost as though you're giving yourself a really nice stretch on the wrists. Okay, so now forward fold into tabletop, so just come into all fours. Start with your fingertips, so you're just placing your fingertips on the mat. Widen your, your stance of the knees and knees should be in line with the hips. And just make sure that the shoulders are in line with your hands. So I don't want them too far in front nor at the back, just in line. When you're ready, just place your palm down onto the mat and I want you to pivot your hand so that the index finger and the thumb are facing forwards. So this is how we find our power. Really ensure that your feet, your hands are um, resting on the mat completely. Fingers stretched out. From here, we're going to do an easy cat cow. So, on an inhale, we're going to extend the, sp the spine, sorry, flex the spine into a an arch, and on an exhale, extend the tailbone, and just collapse the spine, bringing your head up, looking straight ahead. Again, on an inhale, we're going to drop the head, and just curve the spine, almost like a wave motion. And again, the slower we do this, the more beneficial it is for the spine. Imagine each one of the vertebra extending and finding space, releasing any tension that you may be feeling. They say that the Spine is the seat of our emotions. So by doing slow, rhythmic motion, extension and lengthening in a waveform, we can release these. Okay, let's go into an easy thread the needle. So just threading the right hand underneath the left armpit and coming into an easy twist, placing your head either down onto the mat. And if that's too deep for you, you can use the yoga blocks or a cushion to rest your head as you turn towards the side in which you're twisting. So you're turning towards the left. Taking a couple of breaths, sinking deeper into that twist. Remember the hips are straight and we're actually pivoting from our waist to get that lovely twist on the torso. When you're ready, gently coming up onto all fours. Easy cat cow, so in your own time, inhale, really lengthening, extending that spine. 
This time taking the left hand, threading it under the right armpit. Into a lovely twist. Noticing what side is more um, difficult to get into than the other. And just bringing your awareness to where your body imprints uh, or holds tension. So is it the left side or the right? Left side is more your creative. The right side is your action doing side. When you're ready, again, just coming into all fours. Let's just go into some um, uh, opposite leg to opposite arm stretches. So left leg lift and extend as well as the right hand, the right arm. So opposite leg to opposite arm. Inhale, release. Inhale, lifting the left hand and the opposite leg and really reaching out. So the left ha hand is extending out in front of you. The right leg is being pulled away. Feeling that cross core. Let's do it one more time on either side. And the opposite side. Seeing if you can lengthen couple of centimeters more and noticing how the breath allows the joints to float. Just coming up onto your knees, taking time to stretch. So falling back, placing your elbows onto the seat once again, coming into an easy camel to give yourself a lovely stretch. Noticing on an inhale, as the belly expands, it also creates length and space between the hip joint. I'm coming onto your knees once more. This time we're just going to go into an easy dog. So you may want to just push your chair away or move forward onto your mat. So with the, um, first we're going to come into an easy puppy and then into a downward dog. So what we're going to do here is place our hands flat onto the mat, point the index finger forward and the thumb rests beside it. So we've got this um, strength pattern. Palms are really like jellyfish stuck onto the mat. And I want you to root the web between the index and the thumb and focus on that point. That's where we get the power to lift in a dog. Okay, so making sure that the shoulders are in line with the hands. Tabletop position. Tuck your toes under. And what we're going to do is sit back. When we sit back, I want you to press down into the hands and lift 
your knees off the mat. So it's just your knees. Press down into your toes. Power up and lengthen your arms. Hands are stuck to the mat. So you just lift your knees off the mat. Hold. Breathe. Really power up those arms and bring your knees down onto the mat. This time we're going to hug our arms, our elbows in towards our, uh, our ribs. Imagine when you're breathing, you're creating space between the armpits. So you're really feeling the power at the back of your body. Again, sink back. So bring your buttocks back towards the heels. Lengthen your arms. Um, if you find that this is difficult, what you can do is grab either side of the mat with your hands, push the mat away. So you're pushing the mat away, lift your knees off the mat. Long spine. And when you're ready, straighten your legs. Long spine to bring your heels down as far as you can to the mat. Power up your arms. Long tailbone, so stick that tailbone up into the air and straighten the legs. When you're ready, come down. Forward fold into baby pose. Just scan the body whilst you're there. We're not done yet. Go do a couple more. From baby pose, just lengthen into, so you're lengthening your feet, the legs behind you, coming into an easy sphinx. And again, onto all fours. Let's repeat that dog. So either grab the mat with your hands or extend your fingers so that they're planted on the mat. Sink back, tuck your toes under and lift your knees off the mat. Long, strong arms. The power comes from the shoulder blades and the um, web of the fingers. Extend your legs. Breathe. Really enjoy that stretch. This is a great pose for depression, anxiety, really energizing. It's one of the best poses really to work all of the meridians in the body, the energy centers of the body. And when you're ready, come back down. I'm just gonna to go to easy cobra or down dog, up dog, sorry. Scanning your body as you're there. Coming down into child's pose to scan and notice how your body's feeling. Two or three breaths.
So from child's pose, we're gonna step into a lunge. So let's use our right leg first. So step forward with the right foot. Left knee is supporting you. Hands on either side of the, uh, your right foot. Press down. Just extend your back leg, the left leg. Come into a long lunge. Back foot is turned at 45 degrees. Ensuring that the right foot, the ankle is in line with the knee. So you can actually just place your right elbow onto your right knee to create this lovely length as we come into standing. So just pivot your right foot round into a wide angled stance. Holding on to your ankles as we just slowly bring ourselves up to standing position. From here, we're just going to go into a wide angled forward fold. Um, and we can do this in two ways. You can either use um, yoga blocks, you don't have yoga blocks we can use the chair um, as a prop so starting from feet in line with the hips we're going to take step towards the right with our right foot and towards the left with our left foot as as com as wide as is comfortable for you try not to um create any tension in your hips or the um adductors hip adductors and from there we're going to Hinge from the hips. So we're extending our tailbone out, lifting our pubic muscle towards our uh, navel as we're hinging from the hips. And placing your hands either resting them onto the yoga blocks. If you don't have that, you can place them on the chair. Spine is nice and square, lengthened. So if you're using the chair, you can bend your elbows until you feel that lovely extension in the spine. If you feel you want to go a little bit deeper, you can hold onto the legs of the chair as you lengthen your arms and come into more of a power pose. With that wide angled stance. Legs should be straight. Lift your kneecaps up. On an inhale, create space within your hips. 
relax your shoulders. And really lengthen the tailbone so you create space between the vertebra. It's a wonderful pose. Great for relieving anxiety, relaxing the mind, improves energy. When you're ready, just going to lift and come to standing. Shrugging the shoulders back. So we shrug the shoulders back and just allow, soft bend the knees, allow the arms to fall on either side of the body. Let's get a counter pose. Let's repeat that and get a little bit deeper. Again, wide stance. Let's do a couple of um, twists while we're there. So just place your hands on your knees, soft bend the knees slightly so that your tailbone is also that you're sitting down. We're just going to drop the right shoulder towards the left knee and give yourself a little bit of a juicy twist across the torso. Coming back to neutral and again dropping the left shoulder towards the right knee and coming back to center one more time. So opposite shoulder to opposite knee. And the other way. To really sink into those knees. So you're sinking down, tailbone is heavy as you go into that twist. Back to center, shrugging your shoulders back, hugging your elbows into your ribs as you just reach back. So what I'm doing is wide stance, reach back. So on an exhale, it's a great way of just opening up the body. Again, let's do that wide leg forward fold. So separate those toes. We focus on the big toe, the little toe and the heel. Lift your kneecaps. Peel the skin of your hips. So it's also so you're peeling your hips backwards. So the skin away from the midline. That releases the hips and gives you some space to just hinge forwards. Either hold on to the yoga blocks or the chair, or if you feel confident to just fall forwards onto your fingertips, lengthen those arms and enjoy the length and the strength of this pose. Then go a little bit deeper, 
place the palms onto the floor. But if that's too much for you, please either stay on your fingertips on the yoga block or use the chair. Just take your attention to your tailbone. Make sure you're not leaning forwards too much. Just drag that tailbone backwards to allow that spine to lengthen. Really feel that stretch moving through the spine. Take a few breaths. And walk yourself back. So walk your hands back in line with the feet. And from there, all we're going to do is lift about a few inches up as though you're getting ready to stand up. We're just going to pivot from our hips from one side to the other, just allowing the arms to hang as we move from left to right, really releasing any tension you might be feeling across the shoulder girdle. left to right. And then one vertebra at a time. Going to come to standing. Just bring those feet in line with the hips. Shrug your shoulders up towards the ears, round to the back so that the ankles are stacked in line with the knees and the hips and the shoulder girdle. Just hugging the chin in towards the chest. Deep breath in to the belly, span the chest and just scan your body. Notice any tingling sensations, widen your toes, rock forwards and backwards and just notice how you feel Where is your balance? Is your head falling forward? Are you looking towards the ground? Are you facing forwards? Great. Okay. So, two more um, poses. One of them is a uh, half uh, plow. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the chair to get into this one. So we're going to bring ourselves down onto the mat and um, with our head slightly uh, underneath the chair, not so much underneath it, but in line with um, the, the, the chair. So coming to seated. Make sure it's safe for you to do this. You may want to place um, another a towel or a blanket on top of the mat just to cushion your sacrum if you have any lower back problems. And 
Be mindful that you don't hit your head on, on the seat. So just coming onto the floor. Bend your knees so that your feet are on the floor. From here, we're going to do a couple of um, lying twists. So drop both of your knees towards the left of the body. Whilst you turn and extend your right hand out towards the opposite side, so towards the right. Really enjoying that length through the twist. Inhale, bring your knees up towards the midline. Scan the body. You may want to release the sacrum, lengthen the spine so that it's imprinted onto the mat. Extend your left arm out as you drop your knees towards the opposite side, so towards the right. Might want to use your right hand to create a deeper twist for you by holding onto your left knee and drawing it towards the opposite side. Really feel that extension from the left hand all the way through the torso. And when you're ready, on an inhale, bring your knees up to the midline. Just repeat that one more time. So dropping the knees towards the left of the body as you extend the right arm out. You can either look up towards the ceiling or you might want to turn to face the arm that's ex extended out. Hug your right knee and bring it towards the chest for a deeper twist. And when you're ready, come to center. Bring your knees, so hug your knees towards your chest. Now you might want to hug them by placing your hands on top of your knees, or you may want to just place them underneath the folds of your knees so that your knees are a little bit free, your legs are free, whatever's comfortable for you. From here, we're just going to do some gentle rocks. So you're just gonna rock the spine, Really leading with the feet, massaging your spine as you do so. Lengthen. So lengthen your right leg out. 
to straighten your right leg and stretch your left arm above your head. So it's an opposite leg to opposite hand, cross core stretch. Your left foot or your left knee is bent, foot is on the floor. Great. And just bend that knee and bring your left arm to lie beside the side of your body. And let's just do that on the other side. So lengthen your left leg. and the opposite arm above your head. So just giving the body a bit of a stretch. Wonderful. So hopefully now you are lying, so your head should be lying just underneath your chair. If not, just move yourself up the mat so that you're comfortably positioned just underneath the chair. Draw your knees towards your chest. Use your hands to lift your sacrum off the mat. So you're just helping your body to fold over until your legs are resting on the seat. If that's uncomfortable, you may want to use the top of the chair. So you hook your feet on the top of the chair and just lengthen yourself, your body. And bring your legs over so that you're resting on your shoulders. Into half a plow. Use your hands to support your back, neck should be free, there should be no tension across the neck. If there's any pain there, please come down. You can rest your knees on the seat of the chair to release some of the uh, tension across the neck, if you're feeling it. And just enjoy this pose. It's great for the circulation, great for low mood, as it oxygenates brain. And in your own time, bring your spine down to the mat one vertebra at a time, leading with the sacrum and then your legs will automatically follow. Place your feet back onto the mat. You can either extend, straighten your legs into Shavasana. Just take a moment to scan your body.
Place your hands onto your belly. Breathing in, separating the navel from the spine, really puffing up the kidneys. Exhaling as the navel sinks towards the spine. Just giving yourself a bit of a body scan. Check in. Shrug your shoulders towards your ears. Widen the space between your armpits. I'm going to invite you to bend those knees as we go into an easy bridge. So placing your feet onto the mat. Really pressing down with the big toe and the little toe, sinking the heels into the mat. Just releasing the sacrum. So imagine your knees are moving away towards your feet. And as, it's, as you're pivoting, so as your knees are moving away, the sacrum automatically lifts off the bat, just releasing it. Tighten one buttock muscle and then the other one and just release it. Place your sacrum on the floor again. Release your shoulders, palms facing down on the mat. And the next inhale, we're going to lift the sacrum off the mat towards the ceiling. Knees are moving away. So if you grab the side of your mat with your hands and walk those hands down towards the feet, you'll notice that you can hug your shoulder blades underneath towards the midline of your back, towards the spine, and really lift the navel and the sacrum up towards the ceiling. The lovely Setubandasana bridge pose. Neck should be free, so no tension in the neck. Really hug those shoulder blades underneath so that they're kissing at the midline. Try and walk your hands further down the mat as you're grabbing the side of the mat, walk yourself down for a deeper sensation into this pose. Breathe into the belly, lifting that sacrum, lifting your hips towards the ceiling. On an exhale, draw your spine back to the mat, one vertebra at a time, starting from the top of the spine and down to the sacrum. Really feeling the extension of the spine. It's 
Separate those toes. Allow your knees to fall apart. So bringing the soles of your feet together and allowing those knees to fall apart into an easy butterfly. And just savor that lovely release. as we prepare for yoga nidra. Now you may want to stay in this position. If you do, then I suggest you use some pillows either side so you can relax into it. Or you may just want to move into Shavasana by lengthening straightening your legs out, separating, allowing the feet to separate. You may want to place a pillow behind the small of your back. Just get comfortable. Widen those collarbones, feel the space between your armpits. Palms facing up. Just rock your head from left to right, releasing the neck. Bring your attention to the breath. Yoga Nidra precedes visualization. Before we start to imagine body must be totally relaxed. So feel your body sinking into the mat. Allow the shoulders to spread across the floor. Imagine your favorite color surrounding your body, the crown of the head to the tips of your toes. Feel this light extending outwards, almost like a lighthouse. Notice the pulse in your hands, across your navel, in your heart. Feel vitality flow. Imagine the light healing Mentally, emotionally, physically. As you fall into deep 
relaxation. Take your attention to your breath. Allowing your belly to slowly rise and fall. Witness your inhalation, its rhythm, its length, its quality. Witness the pause before the exhalation. Within the wave between two breaths, allow the body to be. Feel the heaviness of your spine sinking into or melting into the floor. Feeling safe. Allowing you to surrender as you invite your healing light to nourish your being. Take your attention to your feet. Allow the toes to spread and separate. Turn your toes inwards, flex and release. Allow the inner arch to let go. Notice your ankle. As your heels rest on the floor. Imagine your feet are moving away from you. Heavy. So heavy that you're unable to move them. Allow your feet to drop side of the body. Draw your attention to your legs your calves, your shins, your knee. Lift the kneecap and release it. Notice the thighs and the back of the thighs. Feel the weight of your legs on the floor and feel comforted 
and safe. Bringing your attention to your hands and the back of the hands touching the floor. Fingertips extended. Notice the softness in the palm of the hand. Allow the wrists to rest gently. And the arms to release. And the spaces between the joints to extend. Does the breath move freely, massaging the spaces between the joints? creating fluidity, length and strength. Moving to the seat of our emotions and the spine through which we connect both outer and inner realms. How can we recognize nature? When we see a reflection of ourself in everything, perhaps the awareness of how we are standing or moving. Or how the rhythm of our breath moves freely like waves across the spine. Adjusting our mind and our body slightly in alignment provides a different perspective and a deeper connection the world around us and within us. Feel the whole of your spine spread out, widening. Feel its length and breadth moving across the floor. Notice the space, your body and your energy body takes. Become aware of the softness in your belly and the slow and steady breath, quietly and calmly. Witness the rhythm, the separation of your breath pause, 
the still point. Allow the freedom of your breath to move through your mind, through your body, and through the heart center. Feel the power of your breath spread through the throat to release the voice. Massage the back of your head and your crown. The space between your eyes. Feel the pulse radiate through the inner arch of your feet, rising up towards your pelvis. Moving into the diaphragm rising towards your armpits as they separate, touching the roof of the mouth and the crown of the head. Sip the air. until it connects through the arches of the body. Allowing stillness to resonate and vitality to flow. Connect to that moment of sunrise and sunset. And the quietness of the pause between two breaths. May you experience peace of mind and happiness.